Frequency and pitch, are they one and the same? The answer to that question would have to be, well, sort of. In principle, we could say that they are both describing the same thing, but from a different viewpoint. The higher the frequency of the sound wave, the higher the pitch we hear. We perceive an exponential increase of frequency as a linear increase in pitch. There's even a neat formula to convert from pitch to frequency and vice versa. But in order to understand the difference between the two, we have to dig a little bit deeper. Let's start with the easy part. What is frequency? Frequency, generally speaking, is a number of repetitions of a periodic process in a unit of time. When specifically talking about sound, it refers to the number of vibrations per second. In instruments such as violin or piano, this number refers to the vibrations of a string. And in instruments like flute or church organ, to the vibrations of an air column. Frequency is a precise, absolute, unambiguous measurement. Pitch, on the other hand, is more complicated. It is a perceptual phenomenon created in our brains. Pitch is the perceived frequency of a tone and it tends to change slightly as the intensity of the sound increases. Pure, sine wave tones with one fixed frequency don't exist in nature. Everything we hear is made out of complex tones. To clarify that, let us take for example a single note played on a piano. The pitch we hear consists of many different frequencies, all sounding together at the same time. Sound of the piano, like that of most musical instruments, has a harmonic sound spectrum. The frequencies of all its components are a whole number multiples of one fundamental frequency. That means that when playing our middle A on a piano, the pitch we hear will consist of sounds of frequencies of 440, 880, 1320, 1760 hertz, etc. Hey, Sometimes we don't really need to have all the frequencies present in order to understand what we are hearing. Our brains fill out the blanks for us. We call this the missing or suppressed fundamental. But when our brains are playing a guessing game, they can also make mistakes and create some interesting illusions. One of these illusions is the so-called shepherd tone named after Roger Shepard. This tone is a sound consisting of a superposition of sine waves separated by octaves, the amplitudes tapering off at their low and high ends. When played as a glissando up or down, it creates the auditory illusion of a tone that continually ascends or descends in pitch, yet which ultimately seems to get no higher or lower, a Shepard Rise glissando. Another example is a tritone paradox, first reported by Diana Deutsch in 1986. It's a bistable figure, the auditory equivalent of the Necker cube. The basic pattern that produces this illusion consists of two computer-produced tones that are related by a half octave. When one tone of a pair is played, followed by the second, some people hear an ascending pattern. But other people, on listening to the identical pair of tones, hear a descending pattern instead. What do you hear? We hope this small video helped illuminate some key differences between frequency and pitch, as well as waken the interest to learn more about the sound and our perception of it. If you wish to learn more about music, make sure to watch our other videos.